Oh boy. Yep, I uh, I kind of I kind of did this. All right, so for those of you following me on Twitter, you guys saw that I posted that I would go out and get an iPhone 8 Plus today. And for those of you that follow me on both Twitter and Instagram, uh, I was live streaming when Apple was actually announcing this very phone right here before me, and I said, no, I'm 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 gonna skip this, and I'm just gonna get the iPhone 10. This is what the fourth generation of this design. What six success? seven and now eight yeah so i just caved and i said you know what i'm gonna get it uh yeah so i pr i promised all of you guys that i would do more iphone coverage i've been very hesitant to do so uh seeing as how i've been promising this for a long time so it's about time uh enough talking let's go ahead and uh open up this you've already seen tons and tons and tons of unboxings and first impressions videos and even reviews already but I mean, this is a little bit of a different perspective, maybe, because I'm not the biggest iPhone fan. Uh, I'm not like an Apple hater or anything. All right, so as you can see, I have this new gold color here, which is pretty much like a mixture of rose gold and that gold from last year. It's, it's a very interesting look, so I figured I'd get this one. It It's kind of weird, but cool in its own way, I guess. So lifting the top here, and the box does take on that color as well, as you can see. All right, so let's go ahead. We get our usual stuff, of course. Apple stickers are going to be in here, and here is the iPhone uh, in terms of looks on the front. Nothing new for like four generations. All right, so we get our usual uh, Apple earpods. I was about to say AirPods. I wish those came in the box. That'd be cool. Wall adapter as usual, and of course the Lightning cable. And that is it. You guys already know how Apple unboxings go. Very simple, very straightforward, and basic. I'm gonna work on getting that back in the box later. In fact. No, should be able to do that right there. There you go. All right, so there's that. Yeah, so a little bit of a different touch on the whole box thing. They kind of went with the color that the actual iPhone is. All right, so here it is next to the iPhone 7 Plus. Yeah, um, big difference, right? <laughs> Not really. Okay, um, this is my first time looking at this color in person, and uh, yeah, this looks like something I would pull out of my sister's makeup bag. That's the kind of feel I'm getting with this color here. Uh, it just reminds me of something, uh, and, and, and mind you, I'm not pulling anything out of my sister's makeup bag. It's very interesting. It's not bad, it's not disgusting, but it's just, I don't know. Uh, the gold color on the sides is cool. But uh, yeah, this this interesting, very interesting color. It's just different. I'll, I'll go with that. There's that. Let's go ahead and rip the plastic off. All right. Of course, on the exterior, the only real difference that we get here. Let me go ahead and get this phone out the way. Don't worry. There's a screen protector on there. The only real difference on the outside is the fact that this has a glass back. So they went back to the glass, and it looks looks good. Of course, they did this for the wireless charging. It does feel a little different, but the side rails have been the same forever, so it doesn't really feel all that different at all. Of course, you got the same volume buttons, uh, mute switch, uh, power button, SIM slot, and you got your speakers on the bottom, lightning, home button, and uh, front-facing camera. All that good stuff, pretty much everything is the same, of course, no headphone jack. <laughs> and the reason why I left the box open is so I could put this plastic in there. You know, resale value, just in case, you know, I'm not sure if I'll have this iPhone long term. We shall see. Let's go ahead and turn it on. And while we're turning it on, of course, the other differences uh, in this phone, most of them uh, come from the inside. So you got that A11 Bionic chip. You got the new cameras, uh, which are supposedly really good. Um, iPhone cameras have pretty much always been great. All right, so that's annoying. I totally forgot that if you want to set up any iPhone ever, you have to toss your SIM card in there and you can't get by anything unless you do that. So I had to take the SIM card out of this beautiful LG V30 that I just unboxed. Just, just look at that color. Love it. Um, I had to take that out of there and I had to toss it in here just to set up the darn phone. All right, so here we go. Here is the iPhone 8 Plus, of course, with iOS 11 freshly installed. And uh, yeah, I could be holding an iPhone 6 Plus with iOS 11 and you guys would not even really know the difference, would you? Uh, but anyway, I really need to stop bashing the phone. Okay, let, for the record, although I'm not the biggest fan of iPhones, it's not like I hate iPhones. I like the iPhone. It's a solid phone. I've recommended them to people. So anyway, let's go ahead and move on. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Not too much else to, to show you guys. Of course, here's the camera. Um, let's go ahead and... It looks really, really good. I'm just pointing it towards my face right now. It looks really good. I mean, I'm just pointing it at the desk here. 
yeah this camera is going to be awesome i can already tell you that i'm not going to lie to you about that but that new portrait mode and you got the portrait lighting again follow me on twitter if you guys want to check out some of my portrait lighting attempts uh, I also felt that that would be kind of cool to try out as well. But yeah, so the camera is going to be awesome. I'm hoping, I'm assuming the battery life is going to be awesome as well. And uh, yeah, all of the iPhone goodies with uh, this guy here. So yeah, stay tuned for my full review. I Believe it or not, I will actually be doing a review of this phone. And yeah, I cannot get like makeup palette out of my head with this color. It's not bad. It's just not my uh, cup of tea, I guess you would say. I, do people still say that? Can't wait for that white marble dbrand skin to come. I'm just rambling at this point. So anyway, that pretty much does it for this video. Uh, I will be reviewing this phone, so stay tuned for that. And of course, the iPhone 10 when it comes out as well. Um, but yeah. Here it is next to my current. I, I just can't get over the fact that it looks the same. Okay, anyway. All right, so thank you guys for watching. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.